Hey, my name is Ralph and I'm with Flex Film and today we're going to talk about ceramic window film technologies. How is your window film constructed? You see, comparing ceramic window films and how they're constructed is like comparing apples to oranges. In this video, I'm going to show you how to distinguish which technology you have, an apple or an orange. Okay, we're going to talk about the apple method first. It all starts with a ceramic coated polyester. I have a smaller piece right here. This is the beginning, okay? This polyester right here has the ability with the ceramic coating to block out infrared radiation, okay? And, and it really does perform well. There's a problem with this though. In our industry, there's no way to make this darker by adding more ceramic material to it. It, it, there's limitations, okay? So it has to have something to make it darker. And that something in this Apple method is a dye product. And the dyed film is great because it comes in any shade you want. You can add more dye and make it darker. You can have less dye and it'd be lighter, but you can offer a full range of shades. But see, there's a problem alone just with dyed film. Dyed film doesn't do very well blocking out infrared radiation, so it needs help. So what happens is, is these two products are literally laminated together at the factory and this gives you the apple. This is a hybrid ceramic technology. Okay, now we're gonna go over the orange method. Again, we use the same material. This is a nano ceramic coated polyester. Have a smaller piece of it. Again, we have the same limitations. We can't, in this industry, add more nano material of ceramic just to make this darker. There are limitations, so we have to put something else with it to make it darker. Instead of putting dye, a dyed polyester with it like we did in the apple demonstration, we can actually use a nano carbon technology with no insoluble dye. And this product right here has its limitations also. It does block out a lot of infrared radiation. However, you can really increase the IR number on it by adding the clear ceramic material. By itself, it's not ceramic. This is carbon. This is ceramic. You can create ceramic, which creates our orange by putting these two together. And this is how we get our orange. Okay, so let's review here. We have dyed film right here. And we have carbon film up under here. And what we're doing is we're taking dyed film and we're, we're gonna pair it with a nano ceramic material. We're gonna take the carbon film and we're gonna pair it with a nano ceramic material. And we're gonna get an apple or we're gonna get an orange because there's two different methods of hybrid ceramic technology. But I, what I'm gonna do is show you what happens when we put a meter on this and it's pretty cool. Okay, so now we can clearly see there's a difference between an apple and an orange. As we saw in the demonstration, the apple did not change IR rejection. It didn't matter how light or how dark, it, it was the same on every shade. In the carbon ceramic, which is the orange, we saw a distinctive difference. The darker we went, the more IR we could reject. You see, carbon rejects infrared radiation. So the more that you see in the film, the more IR rejection you're gonna get, the darker you go. That's the difference. Okay, in conclusion, we are seeing that in the ceramic window films, we have apples and we have oranges. 
And you can't compare the two. One's built on a dyed film chassis, the other one's built on a carbon chassis. So when you're trying to decide what kind of film to use, I hope this video has helped you distinguish what the two are and which film you may choose to use.